I want you to up your level of responsibility and personal agency in your lives. What does that mean? You are able to respond to what's happening in your life. So many times we shirk responsibility. We're like, I don't want to up level or I don't want to this or I don't want to that because the level of responsibility is going to go up. Honey, life, life, full of responsibilities. What does that mean? You have to have the ability to respond to whatever is coming your way. And, and when it's happening to you, there is nobody else. You're the one that has to respond. How do we get our ability to respond fast, calm, decisive, right? With certainty, we're intentional. We're intentional. We already know. So we picked the three words that you're committed to being because you know that's what, what in order to have what you want, you have to live those energies. That's your best self coming through. 30 days of that. And then we pick three more and we keep challenging ourselves. Well, if you're not and you're just like, it's a take, give or take. If I realize that energy, if I'm compassionate, sometimes great. The alarm comes by compassionate, energized, loving. Am I being that right now in this moment? No, check in with yourself. That's you not keeping a promise to you. It ain't about anybody else. It's you breaking a promise you made to yourself. If we break the promises we make to ourselves, but we keep the promises we make to other people, guess what we're sending out to the universe and to everybody else? What are you sending out when you break your own promises to yourself? It's okay for you not to put yourself first. Yeah. It's okay to not honor yourself and your commitments. It's okay. It's okay. Y'all wouldn't do it with your husbands or your kids most of the time. Wouldn't do it with certain things. You just, you make a promise to them and then you stress out to fulfill those promises. How many of you do that at work? Promised I'd be there. Promised I'd fulfill. Promised I'd show up. I don't feel good. Stressed out. Still going to do it. And the first promise you let go of is the promise to show up for you. The message the universe is hearing in the field, the infinite field of creation is you don't respect yourself. You don't love yourself. You are not a priority in your life. Is that the message that you want? And is that the energy you want to come back at you? Remember what you put out, it boomerangs and comes back. So if I'm putting out, I'm not that important. I can let that slide. I know I said I'd commit to being energized, intentional, compassionate, loving, because I know that's going to make me feel good. I know it's going to be me fulfilling my purpose. I know that I promised that I was going to work out today. I was going to go for a 15 minute spirit walk. I'm just going to not do it. No big deal. How many of you on some level with the things you committed to do for yourself because you know it's going to affect your energy levels, what shows up in your life and how you're playing on the field of life have let those things slide and given yourself an excuse, given yourself a pass. 